Hey guys, welcome to Water Baby Tarot by Bommy Spirit. You guys can call me Rodin or you guys can call me Water Baby, whichever you guys prefer. I prefer Rodin personally. Uh, so this is going to be an energy shift reading. Today is February 20th. We have a very important aspect happening today. Jupiter is sextile uh, with Neptune. So there's gonna be a lot of focus and attention and discipline towards things that we need to create. Okay, and things that we're coming into understanding of. There's a lot of truth coming out between today and February 22nd. So it's going to be an interesting portal because it's lasting a couple days here. And of course, there's always going to be a little bit of an after, after effect with any aspect that occurs, right? Also, it was a little pre-shadow on like February 19th yesterday, if you guys were feeling any of that. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to see what we get with this energy shift. As I was tapping in, they told me that knowledge is dangerous. Uh I really feel like it's more so that as we all start coming into truth, there's going to be really positive, uplifting energies that are coming into truth. And when I say energies, I'm like, you know, energies, right? Coming into truth, as are the toxic energies, okay? Um, knowledge is a very powerful thing, but when it's in the wrong hands, it can be a weapon. It can be very dangerous, okay? Uh, and I don't mean to get all, like, serious and heavy and dramatic, um, but if you have some truth that you're coming into that's, uh, you know, key to your success or something that's just going on in your life and you're like, oh shit, this is really big, this is really important, you're really excited, don't share it with anyone. <laughs> just don't. Don't share it with anyone. Uh, I feel like because, you know, people are waking up to who they really are. There's like, you know, and I talked about this, I think maybe it was on Patreon. It could have been YouTube, but I think it was on Patreon where we thought we were awake and we weren't. Like, we were aware. We were aware. We're almost having like a true awakening of who our higher self really is, which is who we really are. The awakening that like, you know, we all have felt we've gone through already is really just the awareness of the matrix, awareness of multi-dimensions, multi multiple dimensions. Excuse me, the better way to say that. Awareness that, oh shit, this isn't really real. Awareness that there's other stuff going on. Awareness of abilities, awareness of telepathy, all of that, right? This awakening like it's it's the rebirthing period we're having out of this masculine energy right but it is kind of a form of awakening because we are coming into the knowledge of who our higher selves really are right so it's really interesting um and with that comes a lot of power and with that comes a lot of truth and a lot of knowledge just keep it to yourself as these energies are waking up all of like the toxic energies and parasitic energies are very aware of what's going on and there is a lot of like backlash there is a lot of like wanting to keep people from connecting fully and understanding their higher selves fully so that's why if there's something good going on in your life or you're coming into knowledge of oh shit there's something amazing coming my way or you've got some creative ideas keep it to yourself okay all right so let's go ahead and get into this oh interesting the emperor with the five of pentacles Ew. so <laughs> uh i just i honestly am just feeling like parasitic attacks I'm just feeling that with this. Uh, I do feel like it's in the form of like worries, paranoia, concerns, things of that nature. Um, attacking leaders, entrepreneurial energy. So just be mindful of that. It could just be in the form of thoughts. It could be that people want you to be in lack or want you to be isolated or want you to not have anything. Um, again, that paras those parasitic energies wanting to attack or keep down people who are like, you know, waking up and creating and shit like that. Uh, some of you might actually have some blocks innately about this, about your own scarcity. It's almost like as you're coming into truth and knowledge, some of you are almost getting a little scared as opposed to empowered, okay? So just be mindful of that. Also, I feel like that's pertaining to masculine energies who are still in their death process, who are not handling this process very well. And when I say energies, I mean energies. I don't mean gender. I don't mean, you know, I mean energies. Any messages pertaining to this portal? Just pertaining to this portal. Yeah, now, I'm, now they're saying knowledge is sacred. Yeah, not everyone needs to know what you know. Not everyone needs to know what you know. Right now. Any messages for the collective regarding this portal? Any messages for the collective regarding this portal? Any messages regarding this portal? Any messages or anything the collective should be aware of regarding this portal? 
Oh, nice. Ten of Cups, Piscean energy. Yeah, a lot of the truth and knowledge we're coming into is giving us the key to the Ten of Cups. It's giving us the key to happiness. It's giving us the key to exactly what it is we want to manifest for ourselves. And emotional fulfillment, emotional happiness. Like, not emotional happiness, that's redundant. Um, Because happiness is emotions, right? Yeah, emotional fulfillment. Emotional fulfillment. That's beautiful. And what you're manifesting or what you're coming into is worth protecting, okay? Who cares if people get upset, upset at you for not sharing this information of what you're coming into? Not up to them. We have Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. So now we've got a character here communicating. Desperate. Frantic. Panicked. Sorry, all these words are coming to me. Urgent. 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 Urgent over all those other words is like really jumping out. Urgent. Careful. Some of these might be parasites trying to interrupt your happiness, trying to interrupt what you're coming into. But I'm getting urgency. Oh, shit. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be earth or fire. Yeah, I'm feeling like this is paras these are parasitic energies trying to like interrupt your happiness here. Be very mindful because I'm just getting stagnant. Stagnant energy is looking at what you're coming into or feeling what you guys are coming into. Or there's been communication <laughs> of what you come into and making it vulnerable, not protecting it as much as you should. Again, stagnant energies or parasitic energies. Parasites are, are grasping for their supplies right now because as people wake up, um, they lose their supply, right? They lose their supply to power and energy. Any other message? Wow. Any other messages for the collective regarding this portal? Holy shit. Any other messages regarding this portal? Oh, crap. Guys, I got the chills. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Knight of Cups. Piscean energy could also be water or fire with the chariot. Can't Syrian energy. That's a lot of water. That's a lot of movement. Okay, this this energy feels very, very good. Uh, I think you guys might be bombarded by offers during this portal or after as well, because there's going to be a little bit of an after effect, right? Like a post shadow. So things might be going on during the portal with parasitic energies. Be very mindful of this, because once this portal closes, you might be very surprised that you might get very genuine offers coming in here. Okay, very, very genuine offers to build and to expand. I'm getting expansion more than anything. And then... We've got this. We've got the Knight of Wands, Sag energy. Could also be fire or water with the Ten of Wands. Sag and then Death in Reverse, Scorpionic energy with the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. You've got the two jackpot tens here, the Ten of uh, Cups and Ten of Pentacles. You do also have the Ten of Wands. There's major cycles ending here as well, but you will be attaining very much attaining what it is you want to manifest, or you might come into the knowledge of how to get it, of like the last little steps to get it or the plan that needs to go into action to really attain this. Once you come into that knowledge, parasites around you, which is why I've been saying forever, get away from parasites. Parasites around you are going to be picking up on that and they're going to try to swoop in. Okay, I'm just letting you know they're going to try to swoop in. Uh, attaining this might require some work, but you're excited to do it. Not a once. You're very excited to do it. Very excited to do it. And it does come with a rebirthing. Yeah, I just feel like it's like it's the rebirthing is awakening to who we really are in our higher dimensional selves. I really feel like that's all it is. As we come to that knowledge, we awaken. And as we awaken, so do the energies around us becoming aware that we are awake to that, becoming aware that we're aware of that and that, oh shit, we're about to get exactly what it is we want. And in doing so, people around you who are on that same path, who are not parasites, will also be waking up. When, when one person wakes up, right because before like the awakenings we had before like that was just awareness we thought we were awake that was just awareness this is like a true awakening right anyway as one person wakes up people that they're connected to wake up whether they're parasites and they're re and they're waking up to the fact that they're losing their supply or they're just like you and they're like oh shit i am capable of this this is who i really am this is my true power Ooh, they know what their true power is let's let's join forces let's join forces and expand and create and do this awesome shit, right so this is a time to use your discernment okay as you wake up to the knowledge of who you are and your true power and how to really attain what it is you want and what you're supposed to do that will be bringing you the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles energies around you will be doing that as well the parasites 
and then the energies that are like you who are wanting this. It's time to discern who the parasites are and who, are, and who the parasites are not, okay? Might be a rude awakening for some of you. Some of you might not be surprised. <laughs> Okay, so you might not be surprised at all. Um, but that's what this portal is bringing, which is really awesome. It's just a lot of creative energy. But that discernment, right, that Jupiter and Capricorn, that discernment is coming in to make sure that we're really doing it with the right people and that we're really on track. The more of us that practice discernment and get away from parasites and get on the right track and start uh, making offers to the right people, building with the right people, the more shit's going to fall in line faster. You know what I mean? No more delays. Overall energy, we do have the Nine of Wands in reverse, though. Sag energy. And then we have, oh, wow, yeah, Four of Cups. Uh, hmm. I heard Scorpio. Interesting. Cancerian energy. This this energy is a giving up energy, a rejecting energy. Please reject the parasites. Some of you might feel really tired. This is coming in. Before knowledge and truth come in about the last steps that you need to do to attain this, and who the people are that you need to be dealing with versus the people who you do not need to be dealing with. Um, you might feel really tired and almost apathetic. Almost like, maybe, you, I feel like there's frustration tied into this. Like maybe frustrated for a while because like you haven't attained this and you're like, I thought I would have had this by now. And you've been frustrated and that's turned into fatigue. Just be patient. I know, I know you guys don't want to hear that. I just heard, ugh. I know you guys don't want to hear that. Don't, don't get stuck in this, okay? Don't get stuck in that and practice your discernment. You know, part of that could also be that you have too many parasites around you, okay? Be mindful of that. That could also be why you're feeling that way. Um, but yeah, let's break some of these down a little bit. Let's see. I'm really curious about this energy. This energy is screaming at me. This is just saying forward movement and expansion and really genuine offers of, hey, you want this? I want this. Let's make this shit happen. Let's get here. <laughs> That's really how it feels. So let's clarify that. Let's look at the chariot. Hmm. Yeah, let's look at the chariot. Let's do a Norman deck, actually. I'm using the um, limited edition. All the decks that I use, by the way, are linked below if you guys want to use them for yourselves. <clears throat> Time with the chariot. Time with the chariot. Oh, we've got the female feminine energy with the ace of swords. Truth. Ace of Swords, the truth and knowledge that are coming in here for creative energies. And like I've been saying, for those who are also patrons, I feel like I've said this on YouTube too. I don't remember where I said what anymore. <laughs> All right, so if I'm repetitive, it's just you guys get the, you know, that message gets cemented for you guys, okay? Uh, coming into the new way of being, coming into new paradigms and the way things will be functioning moving forward as masculine energies heal and wake up, which they can only do by getting together. By the way, any masculines watching, please get together with other masculine energies, heal your shit and we'll get, you know, but go into your awakening because everyone needs you to not just you but we all need you to uh once that happens masculine energies will be at the forefront of the tasks like the logistical putting things into place based off of the creative efforts of feminine energies who are now coming into truth and knowledge of their power and what they want to do by the way Ch chariot is the emperor that is the emperor sitting here masculine feminine energies coming to the forefront here to work together in the way that they're supposed to be functioning Feminine energies will be creating, they will be nurturing, they have that fertility, they have that expansive manifesting energy. Literally, feminine energies will be like, this is what needs to happen. Going to masculine energies, this is what needs to happen, do it. Do This one needs to happen, thank you, do it, thank you, do it, thank you, do it. Masculine energies will go and be putting it into place. That is how these energies should be functioning. That's how they were meant to function. And of course, you know, Things didn't go that way last time because masculine energies uh, harness feminine creation in their own image, which created a toxic patriarchy system. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, yep. We got the stork. Rebirth. I, I literally just heard rebirth. I literally just heard rebirth. That is what the stork can mean with the queen of cups as well. Uh, 17 breaking down to an eight. I feel a lot of emotion wrapped up in this. You guys are asking me if this is about love. I don't feel that. I feel like it's really just excitement. 
and happiness and joy. You could say that's a form of love. I don't feel romantic here. I don't. Uh, doesn't mean it won't transpire into that because when you have all these like emotions and such happiness, you know, it can just fall into that. Um, but these feminine energies that are getting offers from, from mass, this feels like masculine energy. I gotta be honest, getting offers from masculine energies who have healed, who are, who are rebirthing, right? Uh, coming together in the way they're supposed to, to attain this. It's like, it's go time. Okay. And masculine energies that haven't healed, haven't gone through their, their awakening yet. They might be falling behind in this and they might be falling prey to the parasites, okay? So if you haven't done your work, please be mindful. Do not fall prey to the parasites. You are the most vulnerable, okay? But with this, there's like, there is a change happening here. There's a rebirthing happening here. Yeah, I just keep getting rebirthing here. And it's coming with an offer from masculine energies to, to feminine energies to start creating what needs to be created, okay? Let's see what else we got. Tell me more about the chariot. Wow, beautiful. Tell me more about the chariot. Oh, damn it. It was beautiful. Oh, no, no, no. It is, it is. <laughs> it is, it is. I, I got a scary card, and then I got a really good card for the scary card. So now we have the dog with the Ten of Cups. Loyalty. Loyalty and commitment. Oh, I just heard a word. I'm not going to say it because you guys are going to take it the wrong way. I'll be honest. I, I already know that some of you are going to take this word the wrong way, so I'm not even going to say it. Yeah, I'm not even going to say it. Um, okay. Let me use it in better context of how they just said it to me. Because I feel like that's going to be very triggering for some of my masculine energies who are watching. Even some of my feminine energies who are watching. Masculine energies who are awakening will serve the feminine energies who are creating to in order to have a rebirthing of a new paradigm. Okay? We're talking long term here. I'm not saying this is going to happen in the next couple days. I'm saying what's going to happen in the next couple days is the delivery of truth. That's what's going to happen in the next couple of days. Delivery of truth and knowledge to feminine energies. After that, masculine energies have to heal and have to awaken or rebirth. I always want to say reawake recently with this, so I'm just running with the terms that come to me. Once that happens, masculine energies who have done that will, will basically approach these, these feminine energies who have their truth, who have their truth and have their knowledge to form a rebirth and be very much serving these feminine energies to get here for everyone, not just for themselves. In the midst of all of this, parasitic energies are going to try really hard to interrupt this, to cause stagnancy, to cause delays, to cause blocks, okay? So be mindful of that. I also know that because these last two cards that just came out here. We have the mice and the whip. Or the broom, whatever you want to, whatever word you want to use. Uh, 23, breaking down to a 5 and 11, a master number. We have the Knight of Wands here with the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I, yeah. The, the mice are pests. They're pests. It's about diminishing. It's about taking away. It's the, it's like the people who want to come in and fuck shit up or tear something apart. The parasites. These are basically the parasites, okay? The whip is here to basically clean this shit up. Clean this shit up. Get away from this shit. Practicing your discernment to get away from that. And the more masculine energies that heal and wake up and forge. Um, let me let me go back with I don't like that word for some reason. The more masculine energies that heal and wake up and make offers to feminine energy energies who have their truth, who have their knowledge, who know their power and are ready to create and serve these feminine energies serving. I'm getting that with like the ten of cups with the with the dog. We're going to finally get to where we need to be. Okay. Very important for all this to happen. Overall energy, we do have the compass, which is beautiful, heading in the right direction. Heading in the right direction. Again, after healing takes place, after waking up takes place for these masculine energies who are stepping to feminine energies who in the next in the days to come are gaining their knowledge and truth and accessing their power. That's what's going on in the next couple of days. Everything else that I've mentioned is to follow. Okay. I don't feel the need to clarify any of this. And like I said, for some of you, this can turn romantic. It totally could. I feel like right now it's it's really more about just getting people in the right place energetically, getting away from parasites and getting people on the right track and getting people in the right spot to do what their shit they're supposed to do. That's really what I feel like this is about. Okay. Romance can always blossom as a result of that. I can feel you guys begging, like asking me for romance. I can feel it. And I get it, guys. I totally get it. But honestly... And I, you guys know me. I love love. I do. 
I do. I am a hopeless romantic at, at heart. I really am. Um, but there's always a time for love later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. There is. Uh, <clears throat> and again, I'm not trying to be pessimistic here. I'm just speaking some, I'm just honestly speaking some truth. Okay. Romance is beautiful. Love is beautiful. Romantic love is beautiful. But there's a time and a place. It takes up a lot of space. It does. Romantic love, especially when it's blossoming, takes up a lot of space in your life. And there's a lot of important shit that needs to get done right now. That can always come after the work is done. A little work before the play, right? And like I said, it might even come as a result of that because you're you're literally joining forces with people who are going to be in that same spot that you are, who are aligned with you. So of course that'll just that will just naturally happen, all right? So just don't get too just too distracted with it right now. All right. Just do what you need to do. Ooh, okay. I don't really feel the need to clear. I mean, it's so clear. I like ever since Sedona, my readings are just like, but <laughs> just super fucking clear. Uh, I do like playing Oracle cards, though. I kind of want to pull one, you know, so just because goddesses and gods have been such like a big thing recently, uh, I will pull a goddess card and I might even read it to you guys. <clears throat> Any messages or energies that will benefit the collectives at this time? Any messages or energies that will benefit the collective at this time? Interesting. I use the word collectives. That's interesting. Hmm. Any energies or messages that will benefit the collective at this time? Any messages or energies that will benefit the collective at this time? Any messages or energies that will benefit the collective? Ooh, Mau, Mother Earth, you are called upon to help with environmentalism. This is going to be a big one. This is going to be a big goal for a lot of people just because it is really needed right now in a major collective effort. That might be literally just a, a blueprint that a lot of you will be following here to, to fall, fall into environmentalism, okay? Mother, and that's also just very feminine energy, right? That's also just very feminine, creative, nurturing energy that is coming into power, coming into their truth because shit's got to get started, right? Right. Any other messages or energies that will benefit the collective at this time? Fast. I got the shells with that one. Independence. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. I, yeah, I feel like this is being independent from the parasitic energies. The parasitic energies that like to have control over you, like to keep you in line, like to keep you down, like to feed off of you, right? Parasites like to develop uh, codependent relationships, even if it's very subtle, even if the codependency is just on your energy, right? Uh, Having that independence, coming into truth and knowledge and power of who you guys really are, especially my feminine energies, is going to lead to creation and lead exactly where it is you need to be, okay? Uh, overall, we do have... Bridget, don't back the fuck down. I, of course, I added that, but anyway. So <laughs> stand up for what you believe is right. Get away from these parasitic energies. I know you guys are like sick of hearing me say that, but it's just true, Okay. It's just really true and it's a crucial time to be doing that. Yeah, and it's, it's also about coming into this knowledge and truth. Whatever knowledge and truth you guys are coming into on your own, right, individually, that is the key to your success. That is the key to your blueprint. That is the key to what it is you really want to do and how you need to do it, okay? You need to protect that. God, even the way she's like holding that. Do you see the way she's holding that flame? I just heard sacred again. She's protecting it. Protect what you know. Protect what you're coming into. Protect what it is you need to do. Because parasitic energies are all over the place right now. Looking for their supplies. Trying to hold on to their supplies. All right. So I'm going to read these off. And then I'll call it a day for this reading. You were called upon to help with environmentalism. 
There's no greater cause today than giving back to your mother and rekindling a friendship with the soil, air, and water. The earth is a life force for material life, and there's no sense in continuing a downward spiral of, dirt, downward spiral of dirting the planet with further pollution. Your contribution is necessary, no matter how small. You make a huge difference in this planet's welfare through small and simple changes in how you operate. It's worth it, believe me. I will help you accomplish this goal in all ways. Your life's purpose involves environmentalism. Use earth-friendly products, recycle, get involved with... Turning the page here. An environmental group teach others about environmentalism. She's the West African moon goddess who's believed to have created all life. With her husband, the sun god, Lisa, Mawu helps those who call upon her to learn how to live in harmony with nature and to respect its resources. She ensures that our needs are abundantly supplied without causing harm to the planet. I really feel like a lot of this is about parasites. I like, I can't get away from that. I like, I can't, I can't get away from that. Like in honoring earth, you are honoring yourself as well. And just, it's like, environment think of the word environment not just gaia but your personal environment your energetic environment your physical environment to have that clean and to take care of that to honor that protect that right all right now let's read best independent your independence is a foundation for your strength and success like the cat, you're fiercely independent, yet you also need affection and playful companions. Now's the time to balance your social interactions with solitude. While you may ask others for their opinions, ultimately you must ask you must make your own decisions. Your freedom and independence are top priorities, so ensure that these characteristics are nurtured. Spend time alone, give yourself permission to play, ask for your needs to be met, make your own decision, work with cats, pay attention to your pet feline, or get a new cat. <laughs> okay. The Egyptian goddess Bass transforms into a cat each night and protects her family and those who call upon her with her all-seeing night vision. She exhibits the cat-like traits of the feminine, which include gracefulness, independence, playfulness, and intuition. Bass also works with cat lovers to help their feline companions. The daughter of the sun god Ra, Bass has the rare distinction of being both a moon and a sun goddess. Oh, the camera kind of glitched out there. I'm sorry, guys. Always happens when you're speaking truth. Anyway, just so you guys can see it. All right, now Bridget protect your shit guys bridget don't back down stand up for what you believe is right first be clear about your intentions if you're unclear then confusion will lessen your power and force like a candle in the dark be very clear and bright in what is acceptable to you in this situation make no mistake i will guide and protect you and yet think of the unparalleled rise in your own viewpoint if you are if you are to stand up for yourself and speak up about your needs and your deepest truth now is the time to touch your power for its heat and flame will ignite your passion which will propel you forward in countless ways even in the face of fear you can stand you can still stand up for your ideals and your truth be unwavering and make your stand today be assertive don't worry about what others think trust that your actions will work out fine speak your truth Stick to your opinions, put your foot down. Bridget is a Celtic triple goddess, which means that she represents three aspects of woman, the young virgin, the nurturing and loving mother, and the crone sage wise woman. Bridget is a fiery goddess who tirelessly protects those who call upon her. She's a feminine counterpart to Archangel Michael's warrior energy. Bridget's temple is in Kildar, Ireland. She's celebrated worldwide on February 1st, the ancient sacred day called Imbolc, which marks the beginning of springtime and increasing daylight. When is spring? <laughs> Isn't that just next month? Isn't that March? I think a lot of shit's happening in March. I mean, I was kind of feeling back in December, I was feeling that March was going to be a time of, of, of a rebirthing, awakening, and even the recession, which would also make sense, right? If masculine energies heal and then wake up, the old paradigms of toxic masculinity have to fall, which would indicate, you know, or align with a recession, right? Anyway, so those are the three energies that came out. Mawu, Bast, and Bridget. So like I said, guys, you're going to come into knowledge. You're going to come into truth. Protect it. Don't share it with people. It's yours for a reason. It came to you personally for a reason. And just run with it. And masculine energies will eventually heal by coming together, doing what it is they need to do to heal, going through rebirthing process. If they don't fall prey to parasites, feminine energies, you are still susceptible to parasites. And once they awaken, they will come in with offers to feminine energies to collaborate to get to that ten of cups ten of pentacles and do exactly how these enter and basically these energies will start to function the way that they were always meant to function this is long term this is all not going to happen in a couple days the couple days will be the truth and knowledge okay feminine energies will be creating manifesting nurturing masculine energies will be putting that stuff into place 
by way of feminine energies. Feminine energies will be at the forefront of this, okay? All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Vimeo and Patreon, and I will see you guys later. I hope you guys have a really great night and a really great time in this portal. I'm going to go live tomorrow night for uh, to talk about the new moon Pisces to basically talk about what to expect. Uh, that's going to be at 7 p.m. Pacific here on YouTube. And then the day after that, on the 22nd of February, I'll be live at 11 a.m. Pacific on Patreon to do spreads for the new moon in Pisces, okay? All right, guys, I'll see you later. Namaste.